and good morning to you, Sunshine. It is 742 on this Saturday morning. Pretty cool story now. A local mother is now taking on the role of local author. She just published a book called Reflections, Moments Behind Closed Doors. The book is meant to shed light on various issues that are silent struggles for many of us. She was also recently the focus of a series on the local station called More Local. So joining me now to talk more about her big accomplishments and share more about her book is Dana Roberson. Good morning to you. Good morning. Thank Con you for having me. Yes, and congratulations to you on such an accomplishment, writing your Thank first you. book. It's already available out there for folks to, to buy, and we'll get to that in just a second. But what was your motivation and inspiration behind writing this? Um, basically, I've always had a love for studying human behavior. Um, I got a bachelor's degree in psychology, a master's degree in social work, and just always loved just human behavior and what makes people tick, why people behave the way they behave. Um, and then also just some of my own personal experiences going through life. And um, I just decided to start writing about it and just having interactions with some of my girlfriends throughout life and other women in my life and just decided to put pen to paper and came up with this book. So when folks out there go and pick up their own copy, what are they going to read? Are they going to read your personal journey? Is it about, uh, you know, struggles with today's social media and societal norms? Give us a little feel. Basically, the main character, you follow her as she transitions into her young adulthood. And I think a lot of women are able to relate to the transitions that we all go through. Oh, in that life. awkward period? <laughs> right, exactly. So you see her reflecting on those moments, but you get a glimpse into her therapy sessions, which is why it's called Behind Closed Doors, but you also get a glimpse into her journal entries, which mm -hmm. we all would love to be a fly on the wall in anyone's therapy sessions, mm -hmm. as well as getting to read someone's journal entries. So you're reading it on three different levels, from a narrative standpoint in those therapy sessions and then from her journal entries. But she's reflecting on those moments in her life where she's just um, in a tumultuous relationship. She's trying to find herself as she's, like I said, transitioning through life and just trying to find her voice and trying to um, figure out who she is. As she's going through those things, she's developing an eating disorder, mm -hmm. she's going through depression, she has anxiety, she also deals with substance abuse, and then throughout these um, different things that she's going through, she actually um, ends up finding the resources that she needs. So you also um, find areas where you can get help. So people who read this book not only see a woman who triumphs in the end, but also resources that can help in the ultimately help people. So you're hoping that that might help other other people to know that A, they're not alone, and right. B, there are resources because you can triumph in the end mm -hmm. after, you know, such a painful chapter, you know. Exactly. That time period in all of our lives, never never an easy one for any of us. Exactly. Uh, so when people are, are walking away if they, from this interview and they want to know where they can go pick this up, where is it available for It's them? available. Um, my publishing company is Author House Publishing, so of course you can go to authorhouse.com or you can go on amazon.com and find it under my name. Dana L. Roberson, or you can go on Kindle if you're a Kindle um, reader, and it's also available at Barnes and Noble and Books a Million. Of course, they'll have to order it, but it's available in all those places. And it's affordable. I saw it on Amazon this morning, only yeah. $3.99 for the Kindle version. It's a short read, but a powerful one, so Thank congratulations you. again. And before we let you go, do you plan on writing any more books? Of course I am. <laughs> I'm, I'm in the process right now of writing my next book, and it's very exciting. We're very proud of you. All right. So again, as we said, Dana's book, it's available for purchase on, a, on Amazon, the Kindle version, or you can buy the book itself for $11. The Kindle version is only going to cost you $3.99.